Well, since I was a little girl, I wanted to be an architect, actually. It was just something that I had interest in. I always liked building things, which is why I'm doing civil engineering. Um, but architecture, specifically, was because um, I used to be a professional ballet dancer, and so my life was art, you know, and it was music, um, aesthetics, things like that. Um, and then when I came here, I went the engineering path because I like math and science. So it's totally, you know, one side of the brain or the other side of the brain. And I kind of had that need for the arts. And then when I found out what, that they started this architectural engineering and design class, um, I was like, yes, I need this because it's perfect for what I'm interested in. I didn't know what to expect um, because we were the first group to go. The first two days we did tours. I don't even know that m as much about Germany as I do other countries, so it was a total learning experience, not just for architecture but for culture and you know things like that. I was really surprised at the different variations in the types of architecture there. You had classical and very modern. It was great. It was like the first time when I could really see the solar panels and you know light shelves and certain architectural elements that we had learned about and they were definitely implemented um, as part of their design vocabulary in Berlin so it was really applicable. I would say that if you have any uh, interest in architecture whatsoever, if you have any interest in design, uh, I would definitely recommend taking this class. All engineers should at least do something that works both sides of the brain because, I mean, you just become a much more rounded person if you have a better understanding of art, aesthetics, communication, you know, and that's other things that you get from this architecture class, other, not just making a design for a building.